Hello everyone, welcome to Astera Psych, and today I want to talk about something in psychology that I think is really important, really simple, and can be really helpful for people who may be in a struggling situation or a struggling part of their life, and that's the idea of feedback loops. And I think feedback loops are really important and can either help a person a whole lot or hurt them just as much, and I want to talk about that. Let's get into it. So what is a feedback loop or what do I mean by this? Well, essentially a feedback loop is any sort of action or thought process that when performed is going to essentially re-lead into itself or lead into some greater outcome or situation that's also going to tend to repeat itself. So for example, we can think of a negative feedback loop when we think of someone like an alcoholic. If someone has a predisposition towards maybe being addicted to alcohol, if they drink alcohol, then they're more likely to drink more alcohol because they are in a negative feedback loop. Now, feedback loops go both way. They can be positive and negative. And the important thing to remember when we're talking about feedback loops is that they tend to build upon themselves because that's how the human mind works. We're kind of programmed to get into cycles when it comes to things that we enjoy or we're doing. A lot of the times, feedback loops go largely unnoticed in our life, even when we're just dealing with general day-to-day -day situations. And it's these unnoticed feedback loops that can really lead us to certain outcomes that maybe we are not expecting. For example, many people allow frustration to compound and build over time by making repeated uh, small mistakes or decisions in their li daily life that are not going to agree with what they need to be happy. So they're going to kind of get into these negative decision feedback loops where they do something that they don't like or that leads to an outcome that they don't like, which then leads to something similar, which then leads to something similar. And then eventually you just have a person who's very frustrated or they're very upset because they've allowed themselves to get into this loop. And once you get into these loops, it's much harder to get out of them because you're kind of reinforcing your own negative behaviors. You're kind of, uh, you know, conditioning yourself to have these certain responses towards the certain actions that you're taking or other people are taking towards you. As I mentioned, though, feedback loops aren't entirely or inherently negative, and they can be just as positive as well. When we look at the fields of psychology, counseling, and therapy, feedback loops are often taught to clients or patients when we want to get them going in the right direction. Essentially, we want to have them take the first step to get started towards living a more positive life. And that's because the idea of the feedback loop is going to work just as well when you're going in a positive direction. If you start some sort of positive behavior or attitude, your mind is going to tend to reinforce that because it enjoys the positive aspect of it. And then you're going to find yourself in this positive feedback loop where you have some sort of positive gain that leads on to another positive gain that leads on to another positive gain. And this is because that's just how the human mind tends to work. And it's important for people to just take the first step or do the first thing related to whatever it is that they want out of life. There's a channel on YouTube here that I really like called Think Media, and they teach people how to do like YouTube and digital media, that sort of thing. And their motto, or one of the mottos that they use is just hit record. And they say that if you want to start being a YouTuber, you want to start doing something like that, you just have to hit record. You have to make your first video, you have to start. And this goes back to the idea that people just have to begin. They have to take the first step in the right direction if they want something good to happen to them in their life, or they want to get involved in some sort of positive feedback loop. Depending on your certain level of conscientiousness, or maybe even your Myers-Briggs personality type, different types of feedback loops are going to be good or bad for you as an individual. For example, I was explaining to my wife the other day that for me, I haven't been in school for over a year now because I didn't get into a PhD program this year. And for me, that's actually been relatively unhealthy for me because I am not allowing myself to be in the types of positive feedback loops that I enjoy. I've been finding myself staying up till three or four in the morning and waking up at one in the afternoon just because I don't have anything that I need to be going to bed or waking up for and therefore I have to kind of set my own schedules and set my own limits and when I don't have these types of positive feedback loops or daily things that are going to keep me in check related to my goals then I just start to set them myself or I fall out of these positive feedback loops and just kind of live a more neutral life. I find myself at my healthiest when I'm engaged in things that are going to allow me to work in some sort of positive feedback loop. And for me personally, things like school are things that allow me to get into that where I'm going to be using my mind, thinking about certain things or doing other things that are going to be positive for my specific mental health. Now, everybody's going to have their own version of what a positive feedback loop might look like. And even I have made adjustments to try and get myself to live more of those 
uh, kind of actions and get into healthy feedback loops again. For example, now I attempt to try to take a walk a couple times a week, or I make sure that I do a little bit of exercise and I'm not just sitting around the house. And this is going to be something that a lot of people probably relate to with the idea of COVID and the shutdowns we had in the past year, where we were very much limited to our own homes. But the general idea is even in your own homes, you can start to get into the kind of behaviors that are going to be helpful for you as an individual. But sometimes you might find that external systems such as school or family may be things that can really help you as well. And attempting to get involved in something like that could be just as beneficial for you or your mental health. Just as I mentioned how important it is to take the first step when it comes to entering a positive feedback loop, it's just as important to stop whatever it is you're doing if you want to get out of a negative feedback loop. And there's an age old saying, and there's a reason they say this, if you want to get out of a hole, the first thing you do is stop digging. And this is the idea of getting out of a negative feedback loop. If you are in a negative feedback loop and you're digging your hole deeper continuously, you're doing the negative behavior over and over and over again that leads you to a worse position, you're going to find it much harder to eventually get out of that hole when you want to take that initial step to stop. So it's important if you catch yourself doing some sort of negative behavior or having some sort of negative thought processes, try to find the root of it as early as possible and do your best to stop it before it becomes a huge issue. If it becomes a huge issue and it's something that you find that you can't stop on your own, then maybe working with a therapist or a counselor can help you get past that initial process and get to the point where you can just stop doing the negative behavior. A lot of people will assume that if they're in a really negative space, that all they need to do is maybe just start attempting to live positively. And the issue is that you can't take the step forward until you've stopped going backwards. And some people will try to skip the middle step of getting back to neutral. They'll try to go all the way from living some sort of negative life to going all the way to some positive one. And what you want to do is if you're in a negative mind state or some negative place in your life right now, try to get back to neutral first. Try to get back to a place where you're just living okay. And if you can get to that point, if you can get to okay, then getting to happy or living healthy, these sorts of things can be much easier than attempting to go right from living unhealthy to getting to that perfect or optimal place. All right, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this discussion on feedback loops and why I think that they matter. Remember, if you're in a negative feedback loop, do your best to just try to get back to neutral. If you can get back to that neutral place, you're going to find it's much easier to kind of just live your life. Or if you're at maybe a neutral place right now and you want to start doing something positive, take that first step towards whatever it is that you want to do. And you'll find that once you take that first initial step, maybe everything around you will just kind of form onto you attempting to do the thing you really want to do. You'll often find that you can get things done once you just start and things will start to kind of work out for you unless there's some sort of, you know, other thing that's preventing it from happening. But most of the time, people can do the things they want to do if they just start the process of attempting to do them. So I hope you enjoyed this discussion. Let me know what you think on feedback loops down below. Are you in a positive feedback loop? Or are you in a negative feedback loop? What steps are you going to be taking to either continue the loop you're in or get out of the one that you don't want to be in? Other than that, I would like to remind people that I do have personality typing sessions available at my website, asurapsych.com, if you're interested in working with me to find out what your personality type is and what that means for you. This has been Asura from Asura Psych. Have a good one.